But before we begin the session, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you'll never miss any update from us. When it comes to the world of digital marketing, two terms have always projected out, SEO and SEM. What are they? Do they have anything in common? How do they differ? These are some of the most frequently asked questions. So in today's session, that is what we will cover all about. Oh, and also make sure you're sticking towards the end of the video for we will be discussing some bonus points for you to understand and learn SEO and SEM in a better manner. But before we move on to the session, make sure you're subscribing to our YouTube channel and enabling that bell icon so that you will never miss any updates from IntelliPath. So without any further ado, let's get to today's agenda. First, we will go through what is a search engine and then we will see what is SEO and then why is SEO used. After that, we will get familiarized, repeat, after that we'll get familiarized with what is SEM and then we will say why is SEM used and then we will go on to see the major differences between SEO and SEM. After that, we will get to see the bonus tips to learn SEO and SEM and then finally we'll have a quick recap of the entire session. So without any further ado, let's get to today's first session. What is a search engine? A search engine is a piece of software that can be accessed via the internet and searches databases of data in response to user queries. The search engine offers a list of outcomes that most closely match the user's search criteria. The internet is now home to a wide variety of search engines each with its own capabilities and features. Archie, the first search engine ever created, was used to, to look for FTP files, while Veronica, the first text-based search engine, was deemed first. Google is currently one of the most widely used and well-known search engine. AOL, Ask.com, Bing, DuckDuckGo, and Yahoo are some of the other well-known search engines. Now let's hop over to our next topic. What is a SEO? SEO or search engine optimization is a set of techniques aimed at enhancing the look and positioning of web pages and organic search results. Since organic search is the most popular method for users to find and access online information, having a strong SEO strategy is crucial for increasing both the quality and the volume of visitors to your website. Crawlers, often known as bots or spiders, are used by the search engines like Google and Bing to collect data on all content they can locate online. Starting from a well-known page, the crawler tracks both internal links to the pages on that particular site and external links to the pages on other sites. The crawler can grasp what each website is about and how it is semantically connected to all other pages in the search engine's enormous database called an index, thanks to the content on those pages and the context of the connections it followed. The search engine utilizes sophisticated algorithms to compile what it considers to be the most accurate and helpful list of results for a user's input into the search box. These natural results may contain text-heavy web pages, news stories, pictures, videos, listings for nearby businesses, and other more specialized sorts of materials. Now let's skip to our next topic. Why is SEO used? Google uses SEO or search engine optimization to decide which website should be ranked highly for each search phrase submitted into the search engine. Without contemporary SEO, it would be quite simple to rig the search engine results so that the website with the greatest number of links or pages, all of which could be produced by software, consistently appeared at the top of the list. SEO is crucial since it maintains the integrity of the search results. The opportunity to alter these results is minimized to the greatest extent possible, ensuring that the websites that shows up for each searches are there because they merit it. High search engine rankings are correlated with hard work. So if your website satisfies these requirements, you will have a better chance of appearing in these results. Now let's move on to our next topic, which is what is SEM? 
SEM is a sort of internet marketing known as search engine marketing, which aims to improve our website's presence in search engines. The phrase is now most often used to describe increasing website traffic and exposure through paid advertising. SEM, the acronym, is also a widely used phrase. Internet marketing describes advertising campaigns carried out exclusively online by companies and other groups. While it's important to use organic tactics to draw traffic over long haul, there are occasions when you simply can't compete on the SERPs or search engine result pages without investing money, which is where SEM comes into play. In search engine marketing, companies pay for their advertisements to show up next to user inquiries. Search engines include Google, Yahoo, Safari, and Bing, for instance. Let's look at our next topic. Why is SEM used? Business owners frequently debate whether to invest in SEO or PPC as a marketing strategy. SEM, though, isn't actually about which technique is superior. Rather, it's about which is more appropriate for your current budget and circumstances. You'll probably find that investing in both organic and paid marketing is worthwhile because doing so will help your company grow more than if you used only one strategy and disregarded your other possibilities. In an effort to more effectively compete with Amazon in product searches, Google Shopping recently offered up free organic product listings. This update will be very helpful because many brick and mortar businesses have had to rely more on e-commerce marketing because of the COVID-19 outbreak. Due to this modification, advertisers can now improve their paid advertising campaigns by supplementing them with free listings, giving shops free visibility. Paid shopping adverts will now show up at the top and bottom of the Google Shopping tab page. Hence, the importance of paid marketing or SEM need not be emphasized anymore. Major differences between SEO and SEM. Well, now let's move on to the most important part of this entire session where we will see the detailed walkthrough of the major differences between search engine optimization and search engine marketing. 1. Speed Compared to the search engine marketing, search engine optimization takes far long to yield the intended outcomes. It might take a while, maybe even years. How long depends on a number of variables including the market's level of competition and the success of your SEO campaign. Another aspect is how old your website is. Whereas, the result from the search engine marketing comes considerably more quickly. If you purchase advertisements, you should see the results right away, like in search engine results. In other words, your website traffic should experience a rise straight away. 2. Cost It's crucial to remember that implementation costs for SEO and SEM both have an impact on the ROI or the return of investment. Given the quality of the people involved, SEO is more expensive to deploy and takes much longer to provide results. However, because of its compounding returns, it ultimately generates a substantially bigger ROI. SEM, on the other hand, has a rapid ramp-up times, needs less lifting, and, and produces income more quickly. As a result, SEM will prevail in a short-term cost comparison. However, if you extend the time frame to more than 24 months, SEO comes out on top. 3. CTR or click-through rates SEO yields higher CTRs than do paid marketings. According to a WordStream survey, the average CTR for the search ads across all industry is about only 3.17%. According to the Systrix analysis, a number one organic Google ranking might produce the CTR of 34.2%. A CTR between 8% and 10% is frequently associated with the position in Google's organic third place according to the Advanced Web Rankings tracking of organic CTRs. Hence, in terms of CTRs, SEO has a slight upper hand when compared to SEM. Now let's get to the bonus tips to learn SEM and SEO. 1. Set your TA or target audience. Then, make sure your SEO or SEM is an insistent one. After that, improve your keyword researching. 
and then make sure that they utilize most sophisticated tools for the same. And then finally, be aware of your competitor's work. Now, let's have a quick recap of the entire session. Initially, we went through what is search engine, and then we went through the topic, what is SEO? After which, we saw why is SEO used? And then, we got introduced to the term SEM, after which, we went through to see why is SEM used? After which, we saw some of the most major differences between SEO and SEM, and then finally, we went through some of the bonus tips to learn SEO and SEM. That's all for this session. Thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribing to our YouTube channel and enabling that bell icon so that you will never miss any updates from IntelliPath. Just a quick info guys. If you want to make a career in digital marketing, then IntelliPad provides an advanced certification in digital marketing and analytics. It is taught by IIT professors and industry experts with more than 10 years of experience. This course is designed to upskill and land your dream job.